Hello everybody, uh, Phil Willits here again. Um, thanks for tuning in. Now I'm going to do a pencil drawing today. Uh, my granddaughter asked me to do a drawing of her dog and that's the uh, that's the drawing I'm going to do. That's the, that's the photograph of of the of the dog. I'm going to use um, Derwent paper, and you'll see that in a minute. It's from the sketch pad. Apparently, it's a hundred and ten pound. It's a smooth uh, paper. So that's what I'm going to use with a pencil drawing. Now I thought I'd just open up by just showing you some of the stuff that, or some of the equipment that I'll that I use with sketching. Um, that's a, an old tin that I've got and there's different pencils in there and again there's different these stubs here that, that I've, I use um, so that's an old pencil that I use I use that quite often but my favourite one is the Derwent one and, and, that, that's, um, and I use that very very often indeed I've got this, I think I've mentioned this before, this rubber is really, really good. And it's from Staples. I don't know whether you can still get them, but it is a, ever such a good rubber, um, which I will be using on this drawing. And then there's the two other rubbers that I've got. And those are those very fine ones. There, you can see those, and, um, and that one there. Mono, Mono Zero that one is, and I think that's a Mono um, Zero again, but it's got the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's got the flat, flat, flat section there. So those are very good. So I use those very, very often, just for, for argument's sake, putting, after you've drawn, if you want to put the whiskers on an animal, you can just use that, and it's, it's very, 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 very fine, lifting it out the uh, the pencil I do like this pencil as well and again I use this often and I like um, 0.9 millimeter that's I think that's the thickest you can get and I I like that one an awful lot and I think that one's a B um, lead on that one and that's basically it I've, this this is another one this is a thick pencil and again, I've, I've used that sometimes, but I don't use it very often, that one, to be honest with you. Now, there is um, another box or, or little folder that I've got, if that's the right word, and that's that one. And again, this is another one, and i just open this one up. And you can see that I've got every pencil that I really need there. Um, the, the putty rubber, a brush to sweep off. I shall probably use, I will use this brush to sweep off um, any surplus. But so that's, a, that's another one. And the, the knife is in there. Again, there's the paper stubs are over there. And I do like Wolf. Um, a really lovely black line. So I use those. Charcoal there. And um, another one here, a, a B3. I may start with that one because it's, it's very, it's very small, and, and I normally draw to start with anyway, like like that, you know. But we're using the whole of my my um, hand. This, funnily enough, this one here, this pencil here, is the Statson Mars, and I have never seen this. This was given to me by an old gentleman. And it's an EB, and I have looked it up, and you can't get that. But this is amazing. It, it really gives a terrifically black line. Anyway, um, that's, so that's, that's another little box, little section that I've got that I, that, that's handy. You know, you can carry that around anywhere you want to. But uh, whether I use that today, I don't know. And then there's the other pencils that I've got, different pencils that... Um, those there, I use those sometimes. That's the um, the the Conti pencils, and then the uh, these others here, um, Tombow pencils. 
anyway, um, I think I've the sharpening that I sharpen pencils with, I find that very, very useful. You can change the blade, it's very sharp, and you can change it when it gets blunt. But that's a, a useful uh, knife to carry with you to sharpen pencils. Okay, so that's the introduction. So let's um, start with the drawing. So um, let's have a go and start with this drawing. Right, um, here we are. Now, what I'm going to try to do, well, what I'm going to do is put, try to get the proportions of the dog. Also, I've got to try and make sure that you see where I'm going on this. Which um, or I find always a bit difficult when you when you're um, filming, but anyway. So what I would need to do first of all is um, find put put the position of the head, the body, etc., and get the proportions right. And that's what I'm going to do now. We probably will now start to fast forward, but anyway. So I'm going now to try to get the proportions of the dog. Right, so notice I'm using that pencil as well, the small one. So let's start and see if I can roughly get the proportions of this dog. Okay, um, well, there's the dog that we're going to, I'm going to draw. I have started to put the, the size of the animal in, mainly so that to give me some idea where, where I am at, where you can actually see. I know you can see to down there, there, and it, it's an awful lot of space there and there, but that's... There's nothing to do about that because of the proportion of the dog. So I have put, I don't know whether you can see those very fine lines, so that I've got some idea where the actual dog is, in, so that you can actually see where, what I'm doing. Um, because I can't really see, uh, I, I know that you can only see from there, and from here, and from there. So um, let's just start with the face and see if we can um, get some idea of the face of the of the dog I think the dog's named Bo so let's start
Okay, I'm, uh, I've altered a little bit. I've brought the camera a little bit closer so you can see um, how far we've got. And the head now is pretty well fairly close to the dog, as you can see. There's shadow probably there, but uh, we'll carry on now with the rest of the body and um, see how we get on. So uh, let's get uh, drawing again.
Okay, well, um, we've nearly finished the drawing of this dog. And I, what I want to do, and if you can see the photograph, what I want to do is cover that, make that darker, and maybe a little bit there. There is a problem with that, and that is um, the pencils that I've been, been using, and uh, they are Darwin's, or Darwin's Dar pencils, and I find that they, they're very good but I find that they don't really go as dark as other pencils such as the um, Tombow pencils, that one's a 6B and uh, also the Stetalia pencils, Stetalia there. and that one's very good because that actually um, doesn't shine sometimes if you put a, a, a dark color on or keep rubbing um, pencil on certain areas it will shine but these do not so that's what I'm going to try and do I'm just going to try and darken this area here um, probably with this one and uh, see how it goes um, but then I think pretty well it's pretty well finished as far as I want to go anyway um, anyway let's let's carry on Okay, that's the end of it, that's the drawing, I hope it's been some use to you, and um, I, have, I will put a link on to where I talk more about pencils on a video I did some time ago. Anyway, that's, uh, I hope that's been useful to you, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching, see you later, cheers, Phil.